All right. So now we're doing free code camp, legacy Python for everybody. L install Python on Windows. All right. I'm going to put a zero on this one and put this at the front of the playlist. Uh, so, yeah, here we are with this. It's like this right now, just so I don't have to mess around with it when I'm making the thumbnail. So let's pull this back towards the middle. Right there. And then right there. All right. And let's go through. We're going to be installing Python today. All right. Uh, let's click this and it'll open up in a new window. And Dr. Chuck will start telling us all about it. Hello and welcome to my video that shows how to get started and install Python uh, on Microsoft Windows. OK, mm -hmm. so it's not too hard. We're going to both install uh, Python 3 and we're going to install text editor. And so uh, I don't we're not going to install a text editor. Um, if you have your own, that's fine. I'm using I'm going to be using VS Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, because, you know, this he wants he says that he wants to use some other text editor, but like you know he's been doing this for fifty years, right, or however long. Uh, <coughs> let's say forty years, and so he's gone through text editor after text editor. I haven't done it pretty much. I've only done one thing on this, and it's this thing right here, my little timer. This is pretty much the only thing I've ever done uh, on VS Co on any kind of programming. So yeah, I'm going to use that. And then we can just change to others as we go along. So I'm just going to go into Google and I'm going to say install Python 3. And my top link. Also, this is a pretty good song. Link is downloading <laughs> Python. And there is my link for downloading Python 3.5. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to say type in install Python 3. Boom. I'm going to click this top one. Boom. And as you can see, it says Python 3.12.4. That's the one we're going to be using. I already downloaded it. Uh, I can download it again. No big deal. Uh, here's the, the third one, right? Uh, and then let's keep going. Uh, this version of my class uses Python 3. I have an earlier class that uh, you may have seen that uses Python 2. But in this class, uh, we're okay. going to do this. Now, it might take you a while to download this. I've actually already downloaded it. Now, the other thing we need is a programmer text editor. And uh, you can really use any programmer text editor. We've, no, we've used Notepad Plus in the past. We've used JEdit in the past. I like Atom, uh, atom.io, T-O-M dot I-O, mostly because it works the same on Windows and Mac and Linux. Um, but you can really lose, use any uh, text editor that you like. Just don't use Word or, or text edit it that comes with the operating system. You need a programming editor that it doesn't mess with weird characters or weird lines or strange formats. You must have a real programmer editor. And so I'm gonna Yeah, and the reason we don't want to use Word is because Word is a word processor, right? And you I'm mean, if you used Word before, um, you know sometimes it'll like format things the way it wants you want to format it, and this that's not gonna work for us. We need to be able to format things exactly like Python or exactly like JavaScript likes it and you you know this all right so let's keep going i'm down i've already downloaded this as well and so um i won't waste the time waiting to download it but let's go ahead and do the installation so um these things these things ended up in my did you hear that little sigh these things that sigh was the sigh of, oh, man, I let everybody know what recording software I'm using. I know because every time I put mine up, I'm like, oh, I hate my secrets getting out. Anyway, these things ended up in my my downloads file. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to downloads. And it's and right uh, here for I'll us. I'll start installing Python 3.5.2. All right, we can click this. Now it's gonna and it's already, I already, un I already installed um, it. And it's going to be Python just like 3.5 to the path. Yeah, that's a good idea. Install the launcher for. Call 720 at least. It's terrible quality. For all users, I'm going to add that. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't do that. It's going to tell me where it's going to install it. Install now. Of course, yeah, yeah. it's going to ask me for permission to do these things. And now it's running through the installation. 
There we go. Okay, so there. There we go. You could maybe click on this on tutorial and documentation. Um, yep. But uh, we're just going to close this. Yes. And um, I'm going to start and run the Windows command line. Now, you may have all kinds of fancy ways to run Python, but I like running the command line, C-O-M-M-A-N-D. I all like right. running the command line. So, yeah. Uh, it's going to be right here. Just type in command, like C-O-M, C-O-M, and it should be it should come up like right at the beginning. Or just type in command all the way up, and then just click it right here. Uh, is that good? All right, we'll bring it over here. Because you, it's after a while, it's important to know what folder things are being. That's not what S stands for, by the way. I don't know why the computer, I think whoever owned this computer before me, maybe like I bought this and they like gave me a pre-owned. I don't know, but this is somebody else's name. Although you wouldn't know. Being run in. Um, and so here's this command line. And I should be able to type Python here. All right. So let's come over here and let's type in Python. Like that. And this happens right here. But the first time I uh, installed it, I'm, and this is the second time I've tried to record this thing. Uh, the first time I installed it, it came up with a little box. Uh, actually, let's do a, we're going to, all right. I'm going to reinstall it and show you what it did. All right. So. Uh, sometime later, coming up right now. All right, so here I am back. Uh, here we are back with this. Uh, we got this setup successful. Hopefully it does the thing like it did last time. Uh, so come on over to the command prompt, type in Python, right? Python, nah. Anyway, okay, so a little box came up the first time and it said somewhere in there, get Python in a button, right? And it was a, some weird, uh, some weird black uh, thing, right? Like this. Uh, it was some weird black uh, box like this that had like a blue button that says get now or something like that. And I just click get now and then this thing came up just to let you know if that happens to you. And so now I'm in Python 3.2 and this is the Chevron prompt here is the Python interpreter. Where when he says Chevron prompt, he's talking about these three Chevrons right here. One, two, three, uh, the right facing uh, angle brackets. That's what I call them. Oops. It's asking for Python commands and I can say print. Hello print. world. Of course, this is what we tend to print. I'm not printing all the time. Kind of Hello. I can make a mistake. I can say, blah, blah, blah. there we go. All right, and it'll complain to me. Now to get out of this, I let's do a, let's do a, something that mess up. Let's do a syntax editor. Final. Let's see. Yep. Nope. Didn't work so well. All right. I can either type Control Z or quit. In this case, I'm going to type Control Z, and I'm back to the prompt. Control Z. A um, couple of things. Oh. Uh, I can do a dir to see what folders and files I have, and that is like. Okay. So Control Z came up like this when I pressed it. Uh, I did caret Z. Let's let's do Python again and see what. Let's uh, type Python again. And do caret Z. Shift six Z capital Z like this. Nope. So when you press Control Z, that's what happens. Press Enter and it gets out of Python. All right. So what are we doing? Like my desktop. Uh, I can do a dir to see what folders and files I have, and that is like. Okay. Let's uh, let's put dir. I hope it doesn't show too many secrets. Okay. Cool my desktop um, and then the CD command uh, tells me where I'm at in the uh, folder that means I'm in the users directory okay let's try that CD okay well that's where we would be right uh, dr. Chuck okay so 
I have now installed Python. I ran the Python interpreter to verify it. True. I said print hello world. True. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually install Atom. I'm not doing that. I already had this downloaded, so let's go ahead and... Well, if you want to do that, well, world. I'll keep this running. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually install Atom. And I already had this downloaded, so let's go ahead and install Atom on my computer. Take your time. All right, there we go. Uh, looks good. Okay, so Adam is now installed and it's kind of um, telling us what to do. I'm going to actually just close all these windows, close this window, close everything, and I'm going to create a file. Uh, uh, let's do that. Let's open up uh, VS Code. Let's uh, get rid of this one. <laughs> Good old doctype.html. Nope, don't save it. All right, let's uh, format this thusly. Um, there we go. Okay, no. No. How do we maybe up it? Just a second. Let's get this over here thusly. And that should be good. Okay. I'm going to say print. In this case, let's see if I can make this. Let's see if he's got anything special. Just untitled? Okay, so nothing. This bigger. I can make it bigger. So I'm going to type print hello from a file. Okay, let's come over here. Uh, let's click this thing here, file, new text file. Let's... Uh, is that good? All right, so let's do what that says. Print. All right. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to say File. Save As. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop. And crazy? Nothing. I'm going to make a folder on the desktop. I'm going to call this folder PY4E. So I now have a folder on the desktop. Move this here. I'll move this here. Oops. And um, I'm going to go into PY4E. And then I'm going to name this file first.py. Let's say first.py. And you'll notice that when I save this, when I save this, it it syntax highlighted it. That's one of the nice ah, things about sure a programmer did. editor. Okay, and so it says, oh, it's got a suffix of .py. So All right, so it says, do you want to install the recommended Python extension from Microsoft for the Python language? I say yes. Installing, all right. Is this going to take a while? Well, we can go. We can watch Dr. Chuck. Therefore, it knows that it's supposed to look pretty with Python and make this look, one color, it. make this awesome. another color. The other thing that you'll notice is that I now have a folder called PY4E. And if I am in this command line, let me just start that up again. I'll show you how to start the command line again. I think we remember. Command. Now. If I do a dir, I see the folders that I'm in. Mm -hmm. And one of the folders that you can see here is the desktop folder. Sure. So I'm going to say cd desktop. And then I'm going to type the dir command to see what folder. All right, let's do what he did. Command prompt. Let's say cd, cd desktop. Desktop. What's up with that? No, not like that. How did that happen? Did shut up? I think I shut up twice. Okay, I think I did a right click and it pasted. So for some reason inside of a command prompt, if you right click, it'll paste whatever you've got copied. All right, so let's click that. All right, let's do a dir like he just said. And we can see all this stuff right here. Uh, anything crazy? Three hits, two, pow world, palindrome. Old Firefox. Okay, cool. We're good. Folders are in the desktop. These folders 
are the same as these folders. True. These things are kind of virtual folders. PY for E is PY for E. Now I can type CD, which stands for change directory, PY for E. Okay, let's do that. Dir, let's do a CD Python something. All right, we got that. And I can do a dir, and I see first. Let's do dir over here too while we're at it. Uh, yes, first.py, good. What's this 18? Is that how big it is? All right, whatever. First.py, and that's the same as if I'm diving into this folder. Here's this file, first.py. Windows hides the suffix, which is somewhat annoying and frustrating, but. Um, I mean, that it's got the picture. Is there, that file is there. And, there, <coughs> and, and so um, for me, one of the things you got to figure out in Windows is how to. Like, I'm sure because he's used to it, it, uh, it annoys him. But like, it's got the picture right here. So, you know, it's a Python. Come on. Make sure that you are in the same folder. Users, Dr. Chuck, desktop, pi 4 e And that's the name of this file. And here as well. And now I'm going to run this program. I'm going to type Python. First dot py. Okay, let's do that. Let's say Python, Python first dot py. Oh, yeah, there it is. JDAFL blah, blah, blah. And you see that it ran the Python code. It certainly okay. did. Another way you can do this is you can type first dot py. And that's because this file association has happened in Windows. This doesn't work in Macintosh. This only works in Windows. That all files with .py are expected to be Python, and it knows the Python interpreter where to run it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so I've got Python 3.0 installed, and that gets me started. And so I, I hope that this little introduction about getting things started and writing your first Python program has been helpful to you. It's been pretty helpful, Dr. Chuck. Anything crazy? Conan! He... Oh, God bless him. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, let's get out of here. So there's that. So now we know that we can also over here on... Uh, let's see if we can do first.py with lowercase. First.py. Nope. Can't. How do I say no? All right, so it doesn't work unless it's it's text it's case sensitive. So we'll have to say first dot py thusly, and it does do the file association like Doctor Chuck said. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We've got that going on. Uh, we've got this extension in here. Uh, first dot py. We did everything we could, and so now that we've done that, let's go back over here. Uh, so now that we've done that, we can move on to the fourth thing. So the next thing we're going to be doing is elements of Python. Elements of Python. And we'll see you next time.